Hi, my name is Megan Simmons. Uh, I play for the Atlanta Dream, and I'm just excited to be here. My father is the one that taught me how to play basketball. Is your dad a good athlete? He is. It might not seem like it, but he is. He's played basketball like most of his life, not professionally. I was a cheerleader before I started playing basketball, and um, one specific day, he wanted me to go outside and watch my brothers play, and ever since then, I've been dribbling a ball since. One thing I think about on the court, I do think about my dad. And um, I would have to say, when I'm on the free throw line, he's telling me, okay, bend your knees, like dip, shoot. And to this day, I still think about that. The two words I would describe my dad to be would be anointed and my hero. When I was little, I remember my dad uh, was praying that, you know, his baby would be, you know, really healthy. He was supposed to have a boy. And um, he had a dream when he was in Saudi Arabia at the time that my mom was pregnant with this, with my brother, one of my older brothers. And he said he had a dream. He told my mom, he's like, you're not going to have a boy. You're going to have a girl. And my mom was like, no, the doctor told me I was going to have a boy. And um, uh, the next day, um, my dad had the same dream. And he said when he went into the room where the baby was, he turned the baby over and the baby looked like him, exactly like him. Five years later, I was born. So I think that word anointed, I think just his faith and his spiritual belief in what God can do, um, he actually, you know, made that, made that dream. I'm sorry. He made that dream become a reality. And I'm here because of him. And that dream, and I can say that carrying on to that other word, that's what makes my hero. I'm a big daddy's girl. <laughs> and through my whole life, he's just been the one to support me, you know, 24 7, no matter what I did, no matter what decision I made, he's always been there. I can say the biggest advice that he's given me was just to remain confident and, um, just continue to believe in the gift that God has given me and use that, you know, for his glory in order to represent, excuse me, my family and, you know, what God's done for me throughout my whole life. I think I've made my dad proud, but I think there's more to be done as a woman and as I continue to grow and he can see the woman that I'm becoming. And I think that's going to make him even more proud.